Today I'm going to share you the best alternative to any sort of straw, garden straw, etc. So what I have here is a layer of a dried grass clippings. What I did is I just, you know, make sure there's no pesticides or herbicides when you collect your grass clippings. And then just lay them out on a tarp for one or two days to let them dry. Uh, as you can see here, this is a better example because I need to add more of a layer to my raised bed. But this is what you want to see. It's just a nice layer of dried grass clippings. Uh, because this is this uh, acts like straw. Uh, the grass clippings act like straw. And once they are dry, you can go ahead and add a 2 inch layer. Uh, because once they're with still fresh, you only want to go at least uh, by one inch. But when they're dry, you can go by two inches, and that helps to retain all the moisture in the soil below. Because see, as you can see, this is this is pretty dry because I need to add because the grass clippings do decompose pretty quick. So it's good to keep an eye out on uh, you know how fast they're decomposing and how thick of a layer you always have, at least every two weeks or so. But, you know, instead of spending 10, 20, 30 dollars on straw on Amazon or getting like that garden straw for, I think it's like 110 dollars because of shipping and whatnot, it's just to go ahead and use a free garden resource for your plants. This is all you really need to have. And as you can see, my entire garden is thriving because of it. It is important to, to use mulch in the garden. And the best mulches to use are those mulches that are natural. And hey, free is a good bonus too. And mulches also help to suppress any weeds. Um, as you can see here, if I have a thicker piece of mulch, it would have got rid of these weeds here. But... You know, it's just easy to come in here real quick and pick them. Uh, but other than that, that's basically all I have to say for natural mulch is use grass clippings. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment. Uh, I am more than welcome and willing to hear any of your suggestions and ways that you uh, personally do your own garden. Because I am always looking for new and innovative ways to grow in mine. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you like and subscribe.